Guess what? Consequences will never be the same. So you guys are very familiar with this kind of behavior, right? We've seen it. I've seen it. You've seen it. You've seen it over there. You. I'm talking to you. Um, we've seen this a lot. A lot. Especially in the social media, YouTube, Twitch, uh, Kick, whatever fucking platform, TikTok um, environments you can think of. All this shit happens. Basically, social media just brings out the worst in people, especially in content creators. And there's always some kind of uh, internet beef to go around just for everybody to talk to. Now, I am, I've covered uh, Rich a couple times. I actually just released a video yesterday or the day before yesterday involving him basically uh, making light of mental health and suicide victims, which, you know, something I really care for. I don't know about you, and I'm sure one of Rich's fans will come out there and say, hey, go cure, kill yourself, fat boy. Um, yeah, go uh, eat a big pile of dicks, please. Just, just stuff them up in there, like right up there. Um, I don't get it. I, I don't understand how we live um, in a society where people think that just because you have a opinion that's not approved, that in the, a list of people that you're not following that's approved or anything that goes against anybody else's narrative, the option is always nuclear. It's either violence, which is very common, and also Life ruination, and I made that word up. It's probably a real word. I'm just too lazy to look it up. Uh, in this case, we're seeing stuff, internet beef, go out into the physical world. Um, doing things like doxing. We've seen that before. That's not good. People's been killed by that kind of stuff. Not a cool thing to do. Uh, we also have seen harassment on a large scale using followers and subscribers or whatever. Your fake bot fan base. You know, Philly, you fucking fucking retard <laughs> took me a second to come up with that um they use their fans or followers to uh, attack other creators and one of the worst things you can do well, maybe a couple is attacking family friends contacting them uh just because you disagree with that person you contact their family their friends uh, their kids their janitor their fucking dog um or you try to call their place of employment, which is a big no-no, right? Big no-no. I don't think somebody having a different opinion deserves that kind of reaction. That's a really fucking childish thing to do. One, um, I don't think if you know, you're know you having internet beef, your first reaction is, hey, hey I'm going to ruin this guy's life financially. Um, especially when that can lead to a whole slew of different things. You talk about mental health problems now... Uh, people that tend to lose things, lose everything, lose their livelihoods, uh, relationships and everything. They tend to uh, self-delete a lot. And that's something I really worry about. Um, I don't like seeing people in the headlines fit off themselves. Um, you know, I don't like that. I think it's stupid. I think it's terrible. Like, I've got off people for doing that. And that's why I started covering Rich uh, this today. I uh, figured we'd go back to him. So basically what's happening, there's still some drama going on. Uh, I actually pulled up A-Bit Eric here um, to give you some audio clips from what happened yesterday. Uh, basically what's happened is Rich is basically did a victim card. And what I mean by that, on his Discord and on his live streams, he actually requested... Uh, his followers to send him DMs and whatever they can with dirt on his detractors. That's doxing. That's doxing. It's plain and simple. It's doxing disguises beef, basically. But it's it's a terrible thing, right? You don't want to fucking do that. That's that's really bad because you don't know who's on the other end of that uh, keyboard there. Um, and some people take their fandom quite literally. Uh, Taylor Swift fans, for one, or uh, whatever's going on in the world today. I don't know. It's, 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 it's a bad look to, you know, go after people like that, then claim the victim card, say you didn't mean that, and the damage is already done. You damaged your brand. Now, I know Review Tech USA. I used to be a big fan of him. I said that in the last video. Um, 
I used to be a big fan. I used to watch his content all the time when he was actually making good content. He kind of quit making good content. Now he's doing the local shit. Now he's watching his whole fucking brand uh, go down in flames. And I fucking hate that for him. I really do. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of big uh, YouTubers that I've liked in the last few years just drop like flies and then embrace the local uh, community. Like Boogie 298, for example. I still root for the guy. I like the guy. Has he done shitty things? Yes. Um, in a way, I kind of root for Rich, even though he crossed the fucking line, uh, to clean his life up, get back on track, and stop worrying about this shit. But he won't do that. He is a glutton for punishment, uh, just like the old cows do. Any kind of attention is attention, and attention gives him big mad boners. So let's listen to some of the stuff that was going on first. But first, we're going to go ahead and show the uh, interaction. I pulled this up here. So J JKB is leaked. Um, it's another threat. Um, I, that's a content creator, I believe, named Dickers. Um, this is something, like I said, this is pretty fucking stupid, and it shouldn't happen. How do you have these many skeletons, and with Jay screw up this badly and think this is going to end well for you. You know, I, I, I mean, look, I, like I said in the other, I could, you, Jay could light my house on fire and people would be like, well, you fired him. But after, like, the hate wave subsides, which generally it always does, you're going to look real fucking bad. That's another thing I could send to his employers now. And a uh, random concerned consumer of a film company that he may work for, um, they may want to see that. So, yeah, that's that's just one. That's just one. That was the call to arms to basically ruin this guy's uh, financials, which, again, for a massive channel like Rich, let's see how many subscribers Rich has. I don't know if he even posts on his new channel, his old channel anymore. Uh, let's take a look. Review Tech USA. Okay, how big is your channel there, big boy? All right, so you take a look at it here. Review Tech USA, 1.02 million subscribers. Um, like I said, I used to follow this guy quite a bit. Um, he's been, you know, used to, used to, used to until he kind of decided to hop on another bandwagon was one of those guys just like hey um stop putting woke shit and shit and stuff and uh fighting the dei stuff until he's like hey i'm gonna join that crowd um uh, he used to be somebody who actually fought for the gaming industry and tech industry and called out the shit that happened uh he's not a game streamer or anything like that he talks about video game stuff but he was on that bandwagon with people but hopped on and said hey uh Stop putting his shit in video games. Stop putting his shit in movies. And now he's not. Now he's a uh, big retard. Uh, so the next thing, next thing, why we're having it here. Okay, so this is again from uh, Apic Eric. This is a follow-up here. So we'll play that. That way you guys can see it. It's kind of funny, too. I see people spurging about and actually using it in a thumbnail if I'm, I'm going to burn down my career. That was a metaphor, and I'll clear that up right now i know what i was is done i'm not going to make another video about it again that would be retarded like that's what i meant like this is the kind of shit i'm gonna do it's gonna be comedy slash i guess you could call it internet blood sports will it be fun yes will it be stressful as fuck absolutely when you do this shit now it's funny everyone's a tough guy everyone could throw a hit but when they get hit they can't take it you know, they could mock you, but when you mock them back, the next thing you know, they're trying to find your personal information, trying to defame you and destroy you. Like, what happens in the days where people could just fucking roast each other without everyone trying to ruin each other's lives? So, so you heard that, and you heard the clip before where he basically said, hey, I'm going to contact your employers with this stuff. And this actual audio clip He's planning himself as a victim and a tough guy while he's actually participating in doing the same shit. Again, this is just internet beef. Just internet beef. Uh, doesn't need to go out uh, anywhere else. Just the internet. Uh, we all have opinions. Uh, that's just 
the reality of being a human. We have opinions. Some things conflict with others. Uh, whenever they don't uh, work with you, usually what happens is you either get called a Nazi, uh, a white supremacist, a fat person, go kill yourself, uh, violence, violence, I hate Jews, all this stuff. And in this case with him, basically, uh, after making these threats, um, he's basically throwing out the victim cards. What was me? What was me? I did nothing bad. Did nothing wrong. Sorry. Uh, these apologies don't really help, Rich. And I know you, and it seems like it, seems quite a bit like it, that you have uh, mental health issues. Now, somebody that's very, um, that thinks really high of mental health issues, that's one of those things I'm really... Uh, really care about, um, I suggest you get help and take a time off the internet. I've done it before. Uh, now I'm back on X, and I wish I didn't. I wish I didn't. But I'm back. I'm back. Um, but you need to take a break, dude. Dude, your channel is falling apart. You build a brand. You spent, you spent years building this brand. You have over a million subscribers. And you're taking interbit... <laughs> Internet beef, so fucking, uh, <laughs> I can't even fucking talk, man. Oh, man. You're just taking it too too far, man. You're taking internet beef too far. Um, I have a hard time getting words out, so that's something they're going to say. They're like, you can't even talk there, stuttering Stanley. I know, I know, I know. I can't, I can't talk sometimes. Um, but you can't do these things, play the bully, uh, the big guy, uh, the guy with uh, 1.02 million subscribers and bully somebody else because you don't like what they say and go after their financial situations, like go after their jobs, go after their families, try to get some type of beef. Now, I did see the other thing that was going on, a, uh, a computer that was um, originally supposed to go to uh, DSP Gaming, which we'll talk about him some other time. Um, there might be a chance, allegedly, that the computer did go to another person. I'm not sure who that was. I don't know if that was uh, JKB or Eric. Um, it was one of his editors or something like that. I could be wrong. You can correct me in the comments. Um, I'm still trying to figure all this shit out. But there might be a chance, allegedly, but there's some key loggers. There was some remote access to that machine. And on that machine had a folder for Dropbox that had some pretty uh, sus material in it. Now, I'm not going to go into full details. You can check that out over 8-Bit Eric. He's got better stuff than I do. Uh, I'm just learning this. And it's not very good. Uh, there was a stream on Kick um, that basically brought all this stuff out. can't think of the guy's name, though. Um, it was a casino. Casino. Uh, guy, casino dude, casino man. That's why I'm, I'm just gonna call him casino. I'm sorry if I got your username wrong, and I do apologize. Don't hate me. Don't don't take up to dig up dirt on me. But that's the thing. You shouldn't you shouldn't be doing this. You should not be participating or uh, allowing people to do this. When you say things like I, you know, I'm not going to laugh when somebody is dying of a drug overdose or eating popcorn or whatever or pissing I, I don't know like if you say that shit that's pretty fucked up pretty fucked up and it's bad that your actual fans and followers um are telling you the same thing they're all telling you to get off the fucking internet and reassess your fucking life um you know i've heard some pretty horrible things of you and your family uh, i'm not going to do that but you need to sort that shit out too bro you need to you really need to fix yourself um, hopefully, hopefully, if you guys go to 8-Bit Eric, uh, you can check him out. Uh, he's got more there for you guys to see, um, in relation. Um, you can kind of get a good eye on who did the stream. I, I forget. I'm so sorry. Um, so unprepared. So unprepared. Probably just put something right here that says who it is. Um, <laughs> that's the lazy way of fucking doing it. Um, but, but Rich Man, you really need to clean up clean up and this is coming from somebody that's uh been in a hospital a few times for suicide attempts so and i'm actually crazy i'm what you call a crazy person uh medically crazy so you should probably fucking get help 
I'm just saying it'll do you a lot of good to get off the internet, reassess your life for a little bit, then come back, concentrate on what you're good at, and rebuild your fucking brand. It's not over. It's not over. It's like, you guys, the locals think it's over when they could turn it around themselves. They could literally do it. They've done it before. Um, there's no reason why they can't uh, pick up and do better. But it seems like you guys don't want to, and you embrace the locale community, and uh, it's fucking terrible. Very terrible. And it looks bad on you. So fuck off.